So, we are now in Donut Plains. I don't know if with this place and being labeled after food, but we are about to discover a lot of different things. Amongst those things is now, um, I don't know if you noticed it, we have a uh, yellow and red dot. You look right here, it has red dots as well. The red and yellow dots means that there is more than one exit in um, that particular level. So that means if I go here, there's more way, the more than one way to end this level. So we're about to go ahead and try Donut Plains 1. I'm about to show you guys something really cool. You actually don't have to do anything in this level. As soon as you get a running start and you get to your highest, just keep yourself above the clouds and fly the hell across the level. I'm not even kidding. That is the entire premise of this level, is using the cape. And this won't be even be the first time we'll be able to do this, so we're going to go ahead and take advantage of it now. But we could fly all the way across the level and... Oh shit, I didn't do it right. But we're already over halfway there, but there's a giant wall anyway, so we wouldn't have made it. Well, here's what I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. <laughs> there you go. Gotta keep moving on, but we do need to find the other switch. And it's actually hidden in this level right here, so we're gonna go ahead and find it. Yeah, I love this game. Oh, this is one of those automatic scrolls, meaning you can't stay still, it'll make you go forward. Little blue buzzle beetle, whatever these things are, the things you can swallow these. And then normally if it's like say a Koopa. Yoshi actually spits them back out, depending on what they are, but these things that, yeah, no, no Yoshi swap. Definitely get a flower power, or feather power, whatever. Double up on these mobile ghouls. Blink. Alright, yeah, this, I don't know what these yellow things are, I think it's gold. Um, oh, shit. Damn! Oh, I fucking lost my Yoshi. No! <sighs> Yoshi's gone. Oh, it was one of these pipes. It's the green one every single time too, so just so you guys know. And it's actually this one right here. Go up the pipe. Damn, I didn't want that. Don't need your life. Ah, oh, shit. Shit, okay. Give it a second, these things take a second to stop rotating. There we go. knock out that plant. That little uh, blue turtle shell here, you can't see it at the moment. The little blue shell here, if you have Yoshi, he'll be able to swallow that and fly up, but we already lost Yoshi, so we won't have to deal with that. The blue shells give Yoshi flight. Why am I... There we go. And this is a key. Um, if you, as long as you hold onto the key and you walk towards the entrance, this happens, and it automatically completes it. And we are about to do the next switch. The green switch activates anything with the green blocks on it, and the majority of those, I believe, are uh, actually the feathers. So you're going to need that quite a bit. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we got to catch this one. Um, follow, 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 go back. Don't go all the way because then there's an edge at the end of it and it will do nothing for you. So I'm going to go ahead and take this turtle shell and run with it. Why? Because I can. Because I'm the goddamn Super Mario. Yep. I think that sucker with a turtle shell. So now this just means that all the green switches are activated. You get to have that fiasco happen like the first time and BOOM! easiest one of them all. It'll, we will never be able to complete this level really with a Yoshi anymore because well Yoshi can't complete this level dude and you'll see why here in a minute or towards the end. But yeah Yoshi can't complete the level, well at least not this one, with you. Get out of my face you stupid green thing. Okay, go. Nope! Yeah! Alright, let's go. It's really easy to clear this entire game, even, with a... 
buttload of lives, actually, as long as you know how to use the feathers, the firepower, and everything appropriately. Um, I'm just gonna fly my way over this one. There we go. You gotta wait till he kind of has a little bit of a lean first before you press the opposite direction he's flying in. That way he'll fly. Um, he'll keep going back up. A uh, little fun tip is that uh, if you see one of these flying guys right here, and they have like this blinking red low, red light thing going on, it just means that they have a flower power or not flower power, feather power inside of them. So you can genuinely use that to, like that one right down there. So here again, now it's blocked off, and this is why Yoshi can never come back with you. I mean, if you ooh, about the take that a lot further. Personally, I prefer this area with the firepower, but we're going to do this one with uh, the feather and see how we do. Yeah, this fish here, the little blue one here, they stay asleep until you get relatively close to them. Otherwise, they don't really bother you. You can swim past the majority of them. Or you can just kill them like I did because I'm a merciless, unmerciless soul. And I hate fish. Fish dicks for life. Here's a fun one, the balloon. This is a new power-up. Um, the balloon is simple to Mario. It is new and exclusive to Super Mario World where uh, if you get the little pea balloon that you just saw me have here you will fly up and Mario will inflate and everything else. Uh, let's see which one of these has it. Do they both have it? Come on. There we go. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I missed it. Ah! Oh wait. Ah! You'll die, turtle. Haha, <laughs> catch a fishy. Come on. Yeah. Just don't fall into the gap. Mario can swim, unlike Sonic. So this is actually pretty cool. Uh, everybody knows this about Mario. Wait for me! Ah! I'm gonna kill that fish. Oh shit, I didn't really do that yet. Get out of my face, fishy. Uh, I could complete the level here as well, but I'm going to go ahead and come back to that here in a minute. I'll do it again, don't worry. God damn it! I when that happens. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for you, buddy. That's how you turn to your coin, bruh. You turn to a coin, bruh. Alright, Donut Plains 3. Let's go ahead and take this one out. Ooh, this is one of those levels you can do a full running scale run now to. Okay, ready? Here we go! And we're off! We'll never touch the ground as long as this level is going. Don't touch the ground. Don't touch the clouds either. Stay above them. And I won't come down until I hit the finish line. There it is. Yep, not even kidding. I forgot what's the catch to this level. No. You do not get to have that shell. Um, there was a catch here somewhere. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. The plant, the pipes grow. Because Mario is tripping something in this level. I love this little creative idea. Got him. Don't need it. Don't need it. Actually, we're going to launch ourselves out of this pipe here. Well, eventually. Nope. 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 Screw all you turtles. You died. I mean, I go down. The there we go. Let's try and go in the pipe. Wee! I am Mario! Oh, shit. I mean, oh, okay. Let's have some star power. Nope. Too soon. Oh my god. I'm kick this guy the hell off of here. Here we go. 
Nope. Ah, God. Ah, I wish I had the star power. This would have made that so much easier. Hey, these flying things. Just two of them will fall at you at the same time. Good, man. Fucking God damn it. Ugh. There we go. Got rid of him. Got rid of him. Oh, okay. He's just going to kill himself. All right, then. Never mind. Oh, what the hell? Did I just fly through that thing? There we go. I don't, I don't know what just happened. Um, this is Morton's castle. Um, yeah, he's not any harder or difficult than any of the other ones, but uh, he does give you a little bit harder of a time than Iggy did, so we're going to go ahead and jump into his level. I forgot what it was catch to this one. Alright, so good god, oh, good god, good, no! Oh. Alright, let's try this again. Don't deal with the thorn, don't deal with this one, don't deal with the mini thorns. Oh god, these guys are horrible. What are these called anyway? Then, my god, they are just going through my head, aren't they? And we'll take our time. No, no, no! Thank you. That was totally by accident. Dealing with you again. What are you doing? I'm starting to get annoyed by you. These used to be like one of my favorite enemies too. There's a little fireball thing. I'm pretty sure that's alive. I'm just gonna wait so you get away from the damn door. 200 points every time you knock that guy out. There we go. So we're gonna try to take my time this time. Usually I'm a lot better at this level, but again, I'm just really tired. Now we're doing better. Get the feather, get the feather. Because Lord knows you need that damn thing throughout this entire game. It would be really cool if we had Super Mario 64's Mario's uh, wall jump just off of that and everything instead of waiting for anything. That would have been a nice little extra ability to have in this particular level. Oh, good damn it. God damn. Okay. Alright, alright, cool. It's cool. It's cool. There we go. You get away, get away, get away, get away. Thank you. Let's have the other one. Oh my god, there we go. Get out of my face. Oh, I forget, I forgot how to do this part. Um, I know that there's openings in certain areas, so you do have to wait a little bit. So instant that thing closes or opens or whatever take the advantage and get the hell up there there you go kill the turtle kill nope kill the turtle kill the turtle there you go now I got 24 lives yay oh god they are just who the hell designed this castle Like who said, hey, let's have some spikes in a really odd place high up above the ground and everything. I'm pretty sure Mario won't be able to get to that. Not like he has before, but you know what? That guy. Alright. Alright, here's the fun one. I like this one, actually. You jump on his shell, and he'll progressively get a little faster. Uh, what he'll do is he'll climb up on this wall and Spider-Man his way all the way to you. All you gotta do is just not be underneath him when he jumps on you. He'll get a little bit faster every single time, so all you gotta do is just kinda... Oh shit, it was all fast that time. There you go. Three hits, and he's out. Whee! Alright, we killed another one of Bowser's kids. Good job, gang. Thank you. Apparently Mario has leg day and he just kicked that freaking building apart. Alright, Martin Koopa Jr. of the castle number two is now just a memory. The next area is the other ground vanilla dome. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will come of the Princess Toadstool? I don't know why they call her Toadstool. It is obviously Princess Peach. I think Toadstool was actually um, Luigi's girlfriend? I, I don't remember. But um... 
Yeah, we're going to go on to Vanilla Dome. First of all, uh, I love Vanilla Dome. It is one of my favorite places. I love the soundtrack that plays in that particular area. It used to be my ringtone for my phone. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead to Vanilla Dome. Join us next time for the next part. We knocked out Morton's Castle pretty easily. Um, I don't remember which one was the next one. I think it's the Crazy Koopa thing, whatever. I forgot which one, but we're going to deal with him next. So um, join us next time, or sorry, join me next time. Um, when we go